All right, everyone. Well, welcome to today's episode. We are kind of practicing setting up uh, and shooting at the caribou down there, but I figured I'd take this time to kind of run through AR gear setup, um, differences like between a tree stand, obviously, and a saddle, uh, how we would set up um, based off of what equipment we're running, um, some of our camera gear, um, pack, obviously, that we'll take in. So we'll just dive right into it. Um, this is the, the Mystery Ranch Treehouse. I think it's the 38. Uh, I can't remember the exact number, 30 or 38, but Charlie did a, a review on this. This thing's awesome. I love it. How th the thing that really sold me was the, the fact that it just, I'm going to come over here and show it, but it buckles to the tree. Not having to use a, a tree hook all the time is just that, that sold me on it right there. And it's huge. I mean, I have big camera arms that I obviously bring into the woods. These side pockets are giant. So that was number one for, for me to um, switch to this versus we had this, I had the Sitka toolbox. I think it's whatever the medium size one was. Um, this is my tree stand camera arm. I use this just because it is significantly longer, obviously, when you're sitting and wherever you are. I'm not going to sit on this just for you know, safety purposes only on one strap in there right now. Um, but you can see, obviously this extends a lot farther than this fourth arrow micro arm, but we'll get into that here in a second. Um, depending on where my kill or my, my shooting area is, is going to be, that's where I will personally set up um, my camera base. I know some guys like it specifically on their right or specifically on their left. For me, it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm pretty ambidextrous in most things, so that does not bother me in the slightest. Um, so that, that's first thing. Normally I would have my bow hanging on my life, left side. I would shoot right, so that's not a big deal at all. Um, but this is the fourth arrow triple arm. This is my first camera arm. Works great. I would recommend maybe taping that because that's a bit loud. Um, and then this is their last year's base. Um, or two years ago, I should say. Charlie actually gave me that a few years ago. Actually lost, you have to loosen one of these bolts right here to mount this or to level this. So that is lost forever. But I think we could probably order a new one, wouldn't be a big deal. The cat has joined us. Hey, Judge. See you, Judge. Okay, so we'll get to our first camera. Um, this one right here is kind of the B camera for this year, but this is the main lens. Um, this is a Sony a7 IV. I've had Canon cameras in the past. I had a, a camcorder and a DSLR, and I prefer the Sony. I think it's a little easier to use, um, and I personally have had better luck in cold weather with the batteries, so that was the main reason why I switched for that. Um, I'm just running just a normal DAD shotgun mic on here. But like I said, this is the B camera. And something new I want to try this year for just kind of the secondary angle is putting this A7 IV up here on this lone wolf pocket arm. Um, in the past, especially when I'm in a saddle, I would just hang my GoPro right in front of me right here. So if I clipped in, if I'm clipped in, I would basically just have the GoPro right here and it would face me. That's kind of how it was um, for that Clifford hunt. Um, and when I shot him, I had the GoPro. That was the main interview camera. And it was just hanging right here. I want to try to just kind of upgrade the quality a little bit. So that's why I am going to test this out. This uh, is not hung right. I've, this is the first time I've actually pulled it out of the box. So I got to mess with that a little bit to figure that out. I bet a lot of people were probably cringing the whole time I was making that. I didn't even realize I hung this upside down. <laughs> um, on to the next piece. I'm not set up in my saddle how I normally would be, but that is just fine. Uh, I do rock, especially if I'm hanging hunting saddle all the time, I do rock this tethered, um, I think it's called like the Hiss Strap. Um, that's just what I hang my bow in. I used to hang my backpack off of it. This thing is seriously a brick shit house. I've had quite a bit of weight on it and no problems at all. Um, that thing is awesome. But uh, I guess we should probably slide back to the camera stuff a little further in detail. 
Um, this is the Talon mini arm or something from Fourth Arrow with their, their new base from last year. Absolutely love this thing. The wings kind of fold in. Um, and the, I'm sorry, the teeth kind of fold in. They're kind of winged. So they fold in really nice so that it's not poking stuff in your backpack, which is extremely convenient. Um, but we're running the main lens for me is going to be the Sony uh, 70 to 200. This is the G Master first series, not the second, but this thing is extremely crisp. And the video, the main camera will be what we're shooting this on right now is the Sony A7S III. Um, it's a quite a bit of money and it's definitely been worth it so far. My fiance and I have been really into like photography and videoing a lot more things, just our daily lives. So it was worth it for us to kind of invest in two really nice cameras for both of us to use. And that was a no brainer. Um, so yeah, 7200, the interview slash B cam lens will be uh, the G Master 16 to 35. Um, also an excellent lens, really sharp. I hope it's staying in focus right now, but we'll find out later. Um, that'll be hung up here so it can get a really wide view is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but we're definitely going to have some tweaks as we practice over the next couple weeks uh, before deer season starts. But I'm rocking also the Trophy Line Covert Light Saddle. This is uh, actually my dad's. He just picked it up. I forgot mine at the farm, so had to steal his. Uh, with the mission, I think it's the, whatever the bigger one is, either, either the EDM or the Onyx or whatever that is. Um, and I'm always using one of these rope men ascenders. I don't know how guys don't, and they have to just use a Prusik knot and mess around with that all the time. I just, I would never do it. It's so much nicer to just kind of just, you know, change positions every time, quick pull of the, of the tether. Um, same, same thing with the lineman's rope. I have one on my lineman's rope and just quick open up, length and tighten. Um, that's really pretty much it. Um, I just, I would like to emphasize too, this is going to be year, I think four of me filming, um, year two or three of actually compound bros being legit, but, um, do not start off with something this high end. In my opinion, I recorded, um, on a T, I think it was a T3 I bought on Facebook for like 150 bucks, came with three lenses, bunch of batteries. That's when you can kind of figure out if you really want to do this or not. Um, Charlie still has the same camera. He bought a nice camcorder right off the bat. I think he's using the Sony, no, the Canon G50. Great low light lens, um, really far zoom, easy to run and gun with uh, on public land, which he's going to be mostly doing this year. So we're really excited for that. Uh, I guess the last thing I should probably end on is we're using the DJI uh, microphones, the wireless mics. Uh, these things have also been awesome. I think their effective range is like 100 feet away from the camera, so you can walk ways away and, and get, good, get, get good audio out of that. So uh, that's pretty much going to end it up for this video here. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, on other, you know, maybe specs. You guys can look into all of the cool gadgetry and all this stuff. But I uh, just wanted to kind of run through what we we're going to be running this year. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, reach out. Uh, please just like and subscribe to this, uh, to our YouTube channel. Like us on Instagram or follow us, whatever, whatever all the freaking things are these days. Um, but we are really looking forward to deer season this year. And stay tuned. Hopefully we can get a couple big deer on the ground.